Now, let, uh, let me ask you. So in right after that, after you graduate, right, two years later in 2003, you went into the Marines. Right. And rest in peace to Stephen Brown. But my can man, you tell us my how man Steph, man. My man yeah. Steph. We go, I know it's called Stephen, but we're going to be pronounced Steph. Oh, you just call it Steph? Okay. Yes. All right, Steph, yeah. Steph Brown, man. <laughs> tell us about how, how he um played a role in you going into the Marines and, and you know, you dealing with him passing on later on. Man, um, I took I took that hard. I took that hard, man. I know I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I remember being in the Marine Corps during and his mother had called me up and she told me he was gone and I just broke down. I cause right. I like I've been around this dude since so I was about like seven years old when I met him, you know what I mean? Wow. Um, so I know them all like he lived literally across the street from me. Like walked right across the street. He was, you know, and we used to like hang out all the time, like, you know, Growing up kids, you know, coming there with the sleepovers yeah. and playing out the streets yeah. and stuff like that, playing ball out mm -hmm. there in the yard together. So that was my guy. That's my brother. So, you know, when he had, he was a year older than me. So okay. I, after, you know, after after he graduated, he went directly into the Marine Corps. So when he came back, you know, because he was he was actually a, you know a little a little hefty kid at one point. But when he came back, you know, of course, you know, losing that weight in basic training. Yeah, you know, he, he, he put on size and muscle. Now I'm like, man, you know, he just transformed differently. And he was just like, man, you just you, you really needed to think about, you know, enlisting, you know, joining, doing something. What you like, what you gonna do out here? And at the time, even though I told you, like I said, I was on an honor roll and things like that. My last two years in high school, I wasn't really into trying to go to college or something like that. Like, I, I, you know, I wanted to do something differently. And you know, me, me from New York. Of course, we had we had the 9/11 incident, so you know that was, right, right. I was like, you know what? Let me make a difference with myself and do something, do something, and let me follow his lead. So that's how I really got into um, the Marine Corps, thanks to him. You know, following his lead because, like I said, you know, like I said, in my household, I was the oldest, but I didn't have right. so I didn't have that older, you know, that older sibling to look up to. So, but he was the closest thing to it. So when I seen that, you know, the difference that he was making and how everybody was around him was proud and things like that, you know, I was like, you know. I want to do something special too. So that's what made me, you know, get off my ass and, and, and make that change. 